I'm going to make this video extraordinarily quick. I'm not going to talk about this stuff too long. Basically, I'm kind of using this channel when I'm not really making a short right now, but I kind of use this channel to just help educate you about things like, you know, credit and, uh, you know, FICO scores and, uh, you know, my philosophy on purchasing and holding stocks and getting dividend paying stocks or whatever. So um, the market has been slightly down. As you can see, it's at down 38,834 right now. This is June 19th or Juneteenth. Uh, today is a day off um, because it's Juneteenth. And um, the stock market, from what I know, is closed today, but it'll be open tomorrow. Um, as you can see, most of these businesses are actually doing really well. They're only down a small fraction of a percent. Microsoft is at $3.31 trillion. Apple's at $3.28 trillion. NVIDIA is at $3.3 trillion which actually means that I should take NVIDIA and slide it up because NVIDIA is more valuable than Microsoft and Apple. So NVIDIA has just taken the number one spot for the most valuable company in the world based on uh, market cap. Uh, slide on down and you see Google still making its way uh, $2 trillion. 2.17, I should say. Amazon's at 1.9. Um, if it's at 1.9, you can bet that it'll be at 2 trillion soon because they're, they're still doing business as usual. And you also got to remember, see, Amazon has diversified itself just like Google has. They have other services like, you know, they have uh, television uh, channels, like they have The Boys and they have, uh, you know, pretty good advertising uh, for, for buying their service using things like that. Uh, so the diversification of their uh, business has made it so that, you know, they sell all types of stuff now. I'm pretty sure, I think they sell a cell phone, if I'm not mistaken, just like Google does. Uh, you know, it's not a really big deal, but I think they sell a cell phone, they sell a tablet. I'm pretty sure they probably sell a laptop somewhere. But uh, they've been diversifying and, um, you know, slowly building their uh, value. Tesla, as you can see, is $589 billion. I got into an argument with some of these idiots who don't understand stocks about how valuable Tesla is. Because, you see, they hear Tesla and they hear Elon Musk immediately and they hate him or they hate electric vehicles. But I said, listen, Tesla is worth more than Ford, Stellantis, and GM put together. And in addition to that, it's also worth more than like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi put together. And um, they, they, oh, yeah, well, that's just stupid because it's just a toaster on wheels and all that shit. I'm like, listen, you morons, you don't know what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is Tesla is worth more than many of these other auto companies put together, and they just don't get it. But uh, you can't argue with poor people. It's not, it's just a waste of time. So anyway, Intel still pays their dividend there at $30.63. They had a small spike thanks to the AI mania, and uh, they can always have another one because, see, NVIDIA is dragging everybody else upwards with this AI mania. Now, AMD dropped a bit. I'm not surprised because, see, one of the problems with AMD is AMD doesn't pay a dividend. Now, will they ever pay a dividend? I don't know, but the bottom line is if you're dollar cost averaging into NVIDIA, and AMD, that's just fine. Even if you just buy those two, you'll be fine for the future because AMD has always been undervalued. When it comes to uh, making these uh, silicon chips, they're like number two right behind NVIDIA for the most part. And then they also make CPUs. Now, their CPUs aren't the best. I think Intel's actually better, but uh, it's always nice to you know own both the competition and, uh, you know, all of their competition. It's always good to own both. Uh, TSM is still doing well at $179. They do pay a dividend at $1.37. Um, the purpose of making this video is actually just to let you know that Broadcom 
is doing a stock split for 10 to 1. And um, as you can see, this is Broadcom's overall trajectory. So Broadcom obviously makes a lot of different types of chips in silicon. They make like Wi-Fi, communications devices, receivers, transmitters, and whatever. A lot of your devices probably have a Broadcom wireless uh, transmitter in it. Um, as you can see, Broadcom's been nothing but up. $1,802 over the past 10 years. And this, this is what its trajectory looks like. It looks very, very nice, in fact. They're doing a 10 for 1 stock split just like NVIDIA did. So that means uh, 1800 divided by the 10, you're going to be at $180 a share. Now, I don't expect Broadcom to jump up like NVIDIA did. And the reason why is because I have heard like nobody else talking about Broadcom at all. And... A lot of people buy based on media hype. Now, Broadcom obviously is doing a great job as a business by itself, and they even pay a stock dividend. They pay 1.17% on every share that you own. So if you do choose to sink some money into Broadcom, you'll, your money is not just going to sit there. Your money is actually going to you know, earn money. Your, your money is going to earn some dividends, whatever you put into it. So... If you, let's just say, if you had $1,000 or if you had $2,000 and you wanted to buy a stock, this, based upon what Broadcom has been over all this time, this is probably a nice place to park some of your money. Um, that's AVGO is its code. And that's the, re th th that's the main reason why I was making this video. I was also going to say that the stock market is closed today, but uh, Chipotle has uh, done its split, basically. And uh, I've already... Uh, I'm basically waiting for tomorrow because that's when you'll see the number actually change. Uh, Chipotle sits at $3,427 per share. They pay no dividend right now, but they're doing a, a 50 to one split. I, I told you about this a couple of times already. Um, so basically, if you choose to buy into the Chipotle split, um, because of the fact that it has gone up over the last uh, three months since they announced the split, because when they announced the split, it was at $3,000 per share. And that's when I made a video just to let you know that it was going to happen. Because as soon as I hear that there's going to be a split... When I see that it's a worthwhile company, I always make a video about it just like I'm doing now. Um, the only splits that I never really recommended buying into was like GameStop, um, you know, because of those Redditors doing those short squeezes. Because I knew that GameStop is a shitty business model. And no matter how much money you throw at it, it's still a shitty business model. So I, I wasn't interested in any of those. But um, I, and I think the other one was AMC. AMC, they have nice movie theaters, but it's a shitty business model and it's not profitable. So, you know, that, that's the reason why they're in the straits that they're in. But as for Chipotle, now it's, it's I have a real, you know, I've, I've said this a number of times. I have a love-hate relationship with Chipotle. First of all, I, I think their food is disgusting. When I go and buy a salad, <coughs> I would rather buy it from Halal Guys. And what I'll do is I go to Halal Guys, I'll buy uh, like the lamb uh, chicken over rice salad or beef chicken over rice, and uh, I'll get it from Halal Guys, and then I'll go over to Chipotle and I'll sit there and eat it. But Chipotle, what I like is their fountain drinks, not the soda, but their uh, fountain drinks are really, really good. Like they have these uh, mixed drinks i'm not sure they're made by like farmland foods or something like that and uh, they have usually i have like four flavors and uh it's funny because ever since i went to chipotle i never liked the taste of their food but i always like their fountain drink so i'll buy food from someplace else i'll go sit in chipotle and i'll eat there i hate chipotle and it's weird because i've seen so many of these young women and they always eat at Chipotle, and you think that they eat healthy, but they're always like fat. 
And I'm not making fun of them. I'm not. I'm just saying, listen, if you're always eating this salad, you're paying all this money to go to Chipotle, then why aren't you skinny? But when you really look at Chipotle's food, it's kind of like Subway. It's like it looks healthy on the surface, but when you look closer and you see, because, you know, Subway, they just started selling like a foot-long cookie, and the shit has like 1,400 calories in it. And and I'm and I I even I know a guy who owns a Subway franchise like a friend of mine, and I've talked to him and I'm like you know what Subway was actually healthier when you had Jared Fogle the child molester, and he was the mascot that was actually when Subway was healthy. When you go into a Subway, it's like they're serving you regular soda, they're serving you like regular drinks, and I'm like wait a minute. If y'all planned on being a healthy option, then why are you serving people fucking foot-long cookies out of 1,400 calories? Then I look at, like, you know, uh, Chipotle, and their uh, fountain sodas are regular sodas. Like, why don't they have diet? It, they Like, they should have nothing but diet. Like, you know you know how when you go to most of these, uh, what is it called? Uh, you go to most of these restaurants, and you're like, okay, do you have a diet option? And they say, yeah, well, we just have Diet Coke, and that's it. So my thinking is, it's like, wait a minute, Diet Coke exists, Diet Sprite exists, Diet Seagram's Ginger Ale exists, Diet uh, Orange exists. Why don't you have fountain sodas where it's nothing but diet soda, you know? And and that's that always gets me. I'm like, wait a minute, this shit is really, 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 really unhealthy. And um, again, I see these women going in there just like Starbucks. And they, oh, yeah, yeah, give me the salad with the corn and all that. And I'm looking at the options that they're putting in their salads. I'm like, wait a minute. That shit's not healthy at all. You're you're getting a salad that's over 1,000 calories. But, you know, that's just how I feel about it. And it, that's why I think Subway lost its way. Forget Jared Fogle. Because, see, Jared Fogle lost all that weight and then he turned into a child predator. But um, bottom line is he lost the weight. So back then, Subway was actually working. So my thing is, it's like, like you, you guys have lost your way. It's like, what are y'all doing? But, um, you know, that's just how I see it. So anyway, uh, Chipotle's split goes into effect. Uh, you'll see the numbers switch tomorrow. So you'll see that uh, this $3,427 is going to become $68 tomorrow. You'll see that uh, in the morning. If not tomorrow, it'll be like later in the day. But... Um, that's just where we are. So um, that's all I really wanted to say. If you have money to invest in a stock split, Broadcom is definitely uh, worth investing in. And, um, you know, right now Chipotle is going to be at $68. So if you wanted to buy a couple of shares in that, you could also buy a couple of shares in that. So that's all I had to say. And, um, you know, questions, comments, criticisms, you can go in the URL section.